There are things you need to know, things you may not understand and may not wish to do, but please, do not make the same mistakes I did. My father, Howard, deserted me before I was born. I could claim the loss of my mother, and the letter I received after her funeral blinded me to what I had to do. It would be a lie. Human nature sealed my downfall. My name is Philip. If we are lucky, then by the time you receive this, I will be dead. Something, something, something. Frictional Games presents Penumbra Overture, Episode 1. Let's adjust the settings. Anyway, the introduction goes, Like all good nightmares, Phillips begins with something all too real, his mother's death, as may be portrayed here. My story began in February year 2000. For my part in this allegory, oh. I'm not going to make the same mistakes my father made. Not going to make- Howard vanished from my mother's life before I was even in it. So when he sent me a letter a few days after Mum's funeral, it was the first I'd ever heard from him. Pity he was dead. Writing from beyond the grave must be a genetic habit in my bloodline. His letter contained a key, instructions, pleas for forgiveness. I figured the dead don't have much use for absolution, so I turned to his prophetic passing, which he inexplicably expected to come any day. Clearly averse to explanations, my father preferred to leave directions to a bank on Mayfair I'd never even heard of. In that bank was a safety deposit box in his name, and myself as executor. Executor. Of course, I went, as he knew I would. I discovered that despite the evidence, he'd been legally declared dead almost 30 years ago and said the old book and collection of notes I found had, in the eyes of the law, been mine all this time. My father's instructions were to burn the documents, raise no further questions. Oh. But that was his error. No man's immune to the shameful trappings of curiosity, and my humanity got the better of me. The university I taught at was world-renowned for two things, physics and linguistics. Oh, I taught. represented the first, and the man who stood for the second was stumped by my recent acquisition. The book was indecipherable. The notes, however, showed a location somewhere in uninhabited northern Greenland. Hmm. It took me almost a year to book the last flight I'd ever taken. As I watched civilization disappear along with Heathrow, I realized my father had disappeared three decades that's, that's ago, almost to the day. England. And I considered in turn what it was that I was leaving behind. I am the Heathrow. We landed on a strip of ice a few feet wide. And within minutes, I was pulling away on a chartered boat, beginning a 12-hour journey that would lead me into my past. Hmm. Finally! We're almost docked. I'd better stow my gear. I may be far from home, but chances are I can still pick things up using left mouse. And I can take a closer look using right mouse. Whoa, buddy. Oh, yeah, get used to this movement. So, the developers of this game, um, you may know, they actually did Amnesia and Soma. So, you can see this is how the predecessor to those kind of games are. That's actually 2D graphic. Oh! Physics! <gasps> oh. It's locked. <laughs> it's quite cool. Okay, so... Oh, shoot. Is it gonna... What can I look at? The crew seem friendly enough, but just in case I lock my valuables. Pretty sure the key is in my inventory somewhere. Once I've found it, double click on the left mouse button and she's going to say inventory. Okay. I for inventory. Tab. Tab. Oh, if you... There's a lean. There's a hardcore lean, dude. Get used to that. Uh. Oh. There we go. Ooh, a glow stick. 
AG for glow stick, some extra batteries. That's one thing that I hate about these kind of games is the batteries. Uh, on certain maps, a good decade or so out of date, the landmarks don't change much in Greenland, so I've got a pretty decent idea where I'm heading. Now, this is really cool. We're actually moving. Like, it's some sort of physical vessel we are on because th that's rolling around. That's quite impressive. Always good to have a notebook to jot down interesting information and reminders. I think I left my torch in my desk drawer next to bed. I can't open it. Interesting thing. I and P? Oh. Ugh. Pretty odorous. Glad I'm getting out of here soon. You must eat, sleep, and well do everything in this room, including shitting. Did I mention I shit all the time? Who are these people? Playboy poster. It's nice. Some things don't change no matter how far you are from home. <laughs> oh my, Philip. A photo of a fisherman's wife. She's not Playboy, but she looks lovely and has a kid. Oh. I guess these were, uh, other people's photos. Here we go. The flashlight switches on and off. Here's have, or hopefully, with a shortcut key, press F. I should go before it gets dark. Right, no. As I stepped off the boat, setting out into the blizzard that had formed around me, I had realized how utterly devoted I'd been to discovering of my father's past. I had no idea what to expect. Soon enough, my concerns were justified. I don't know whether I lost my orientation or my spirit first, but I was lost feeling in my extremities soon after. But I lost feeling in my extremities soon after, and new, and new hypothermia was setting in. I started looking for shelter. So I just wandered off. So cold, I don't know where I am. I just wandered off. And now I have no idea where I am. My entire head went numb a long time ago, but I can still hear the wind roaring past. Was that some kind of animal in distance? <gasps> so you, yeah, you talk in text form. Mm. Huh? The hell is that? I don't care. I need shelter. Looks frozen shut. I need something to break it. Oh, I'm losing blood, but I should be okay. God, I can't even solve the first issue here. I can't get into the shelter. I'm gonna die. I'm a horrible player. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Stones? If I click and hold it to red I should be managed to pick up the rock. Hold it weak and I still can get something. Yeah, so you can throw it. Oh, God. You can throw it. Oh, God. I can swing more act. Death is the final unknown. Interact mode is like on off thing. <laughs> get out of here. Get. Turn it. Turn it. I'm trying to turn this. Huh. Huh. Wait. Wait. Is it. Is the hatch. Hello? Hatch. Hatch. I can't... Oh wait, wait! Got it. Haha, <laughs> looting. That's cool, it ties it together with sound. While it's loading. Blimey, I can't see a bloody thing. Hello? <laughs> Why you start? spoopy things. Jesus, my head. I can't believe I fell that far and survived. Although, looking around, maybe I don't want... What is this place? Ooh. I'm losing blood, but I should be okay. Empty boxes of ammunition. What is this place? Good question. Let's move this barrel out of the way. So you can pretty well uh, pick up anything you want. What was this? A heavy looking wooden barrel could be anything inside of it. 
go. There could be anything inside of it. There's something behind it. Blair. It's a wooden door. I hope it's open. Hello. Wait, what's this? A steel rod. It's stuck. There must be something in its way. So you can use your torch. Or you can use your glow stick. But I don't see why you would use the torch if you didn't have to. Wooden shells slowly falling apart. Can I move this? Hello. Pull off, can't pull off with my bare hands. So let's see what we got around here. Let's see, I can swing this hammer if I hold left mouse button and back swing and pull right. Uh, I can make a back swing by pulling the r mouse right and then following through by pushing a left. The opposite works through pulling back and thrusting forward, stepping. I reckon if I hold in right mouse button and swing, I can still be able to look around. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I need my hammer here, boys. <laughs> so, oh, okay. So you actually gotta like, yeah. That's that's kind of that's kind of interesting. You can just kind of move the mouse back and forth as much as you want, though. Oh, Jesus. Hello? I'm backtracking at this point. Okay, imme immediately you can go, like, so many different ways. Looks like some kind of industrial mechanism, although it's a hole in the center, no way to operate it. Hmm, how about this? Hello? Oh. Oh. This hatch is seriously solid. It won't open by hand. Someone obviously wanted to keep people out. Or in. Oh no. Are we in some sort of prison? Uh, let's see. You know what? Can I use a... Just, just give us a few wax? What the... This door is... Is locked? Oh. <laughs> this door is not locked, it's just heavy. I could go in the hatch, I could keep going this way. Oh! Oh, oh, okay. This is the... Yeah, back at the entrance. Wow, there was different tunnel directions though, so... Whatever it was, whatever it was I did, whatever I was descending into, it was a hundred feet below ground, protected by two solid metal hatches, located in a remote arctic wilderness and buried beneath the snow. I didn't know what to expect, but it made me feel something I hadn't felt since I was a child. The cold embrace of death. I'd never... I'd never given it much thought before, but I realized that our entire society is a network of safety nests, nets, emergency services at the end of a phone line, health and safety in the workplace, friends, family, lovers, all there. If something goes wrong, part of a carefully designed structure to prevent, prevent all but the most mundane of emotions. Once again, I felt like I did when I was in school, surrounded by a closing ring of older kids, knowing anyone that might help me. Friends, parents, teachers were too scared or too far away. Yeah, something sounds like it's not good. It's stuck, I'm trapped, I need to get out. Oh! Could be anything living down here. Heroics are for Hollywood actors and fairy tales. I'm not taking any chances. If I face off against anything down here, I won't last a second. Caution and stealth are my only defenses now. 
If anyone or anything hits me, I'd best be off staying low and out of sight until I know whether it's not a threat. Crouching by pressing this will give me the chance to hide in the shadows. I, I'll, I'll know I've got it right because of the blue tint to my vision. Plus, I should be quiet enough that I won't be here. Be heard unless something's right on top of me. Better remember to shut off any light source, though. <laughs> yeah, so there's like a blue... I uh, bent high for a couple seconds. Recent. Yeah. So you can see we're hidden now. But... Could also use the environment to our advantage. So we're here. There's storage, workshop, explosives, a northern area, and office. So if we head off into the right hand head off into the right hand side, we should reach storage. Which I'm curious to I'm curious to to see. And, uh... This is definitely the main gameplay loop, right? Aha, uh -huh. storage room, yeah. So just being aware of your environment. You know, is there a quick save? There's no... There's no quick save. At best, it could be a decent hiding spot. I'm not too sure what we're hiding from, or how good their vision is, you know? Reams of wiring. Ice white. Just old paint cans dried up long ago. Yeah. Wait a second, what's this? Cockroaches equals sad. It shows some kind of trap door, but I can't see where it would be. No, no. If the lighter wasn't empty, it be, might be handy. It's a crude representation of a scorched, writhing spider. Oh, you take the spiders and you burn them. Spiders equals sad. Take some, take a booty. <laughs> okay, so... Strange. Storage crates for transporting ore, I suppose. There's a draft coming from the base. Okay. Let's remove the rocks. You can see this is really introducing the notion of of environmental puzzles. Is this a trapdoor? Oh my god. I feel like there's something in here. Okay. Oh. Pills? Painkillers? Batteries? Ugh, what the hell? What just happened? I don't know if that was such a good idea. And that's saving your game, yeah? Okay. Hearing the whispers of the dark. Spiders crawling. Looks as if this basement caved in some years ago. Something's tunneled through here. More recently, though, 
Christ, what sort of creature makes these markings? A gigantic spider. Spiders in small places. I don't know if I can go through with this. I think I can hear the pitter patter of tiny feet. Okay, so I think they're actually warning me to not go in there. It's the game's way of saying, hey buddy, go get the... Oh, shoot. Looks like someone's removed the ladder with these hooks with a pretty blunt saw. Oh, I should have thought before coming down here. <laughs> I mean, I might be able to get my way back up there. I think this is going to kill... Christ, what is that? A spider? I don't like spiders. I think this is going to get me killed because... I need the lighter. Oh, here's a ladder. Yeah, we're just going to drag this back. <laughs> Let's see if this actually works. Oh! Oh! Oh my god. I'm so smart. <laughs> I don't know, I found that's, that's so cool. Okay, you ready for this? Locked from the other side. That... Does that mean there's someone still inside? I can hear chattering, thank god. Maybe I'll get some answers? Dude, no. Okay, where's, where's the actual... Oh, that, that's obvious, okay. It's locked. Okay, so I think I'm going to need to go find the, the lighter. Oh, you know what, though? Mm -hmm. So... We're going to save it here. I think next time. I mean, never get used to that. I think we're going to head off to get the lighter. And, uh... I thank you all for watching. If you're interested in other gaming related content, please see subscribe to GT Variety Gaming. If you're interested in Assassin's Creed and the lore within, please subscribe to Assassin's Saga. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoy the journey through Penumbra. Thank you for watching.